the young and the restless spoilers. Victoria Newman and Lily Winters had been clashing for months, and their animosity toward each other seemed to grow with every interaction. To outsiders, their feud might have appeared to be just another power struggle within the Newman family and its business empire, but beneath the surface, it was much more personal. For Victoria, her hatred for Lily had been simmering ever since Lily aligned herself with Victor. It wasn't just that Lily had joined Newman Enterprises, though that in itself was bad enough, it was the fact that Lily had become one of Victor's most trusted allies. From the moment Lily started working alongside Victor, Victoria had felt a deep sense of betrayal. She couldn't accept that her father would trust an outsider like Lily over his own daughter. But Victoria's resentment went deeper. Billy Abbott, her ex-husband and the father of her children, had once been deeply involved with Lily. Though their relationship had ended, Victoria still harbored protective feelings for Billy and their family. She saw Lily as a threat to that dynamic, a woman who had once been close to Billy and who now stood between Victoria and the life she wanted for her family. Every time Victoria looked at Lily, she saw someone who had come too close to taking what was hers. Lily's involvement at Newman Enterprises only made matters worse. For Victoria, there was no place for Lily in her father's company, or in her life. Victoria's Ultimatum The tension reached its peak when Victoria delivered an ultimatum to Victor either he fired Lily, or she would return to Newman Enterprises herself to reclaim her rightful place. Victoria wasn't interested in working side by side with Lily, and she certainly wasn't going to let Lily have any influence over Billy or their children. She made it clear to Victor that if he didn't act, she would. Victor, already worn down by the constant battles between his children and the internal struggles at Newman Enterprises, found himself caught in the middle. He was tired of his family's interference in his business, yet he couldn't ignore Victoria's ultimatum. His daughter had always been one of his most loyal allies, and her return to the company could be a valuable asset. But firing Lily wasn't a decision he could make lightly, especially given the alliances that were forming around him. Lily's Perspective on the other side, Lily was just as determined. She wasn't going to let Victoria push her out of Newman Enterprises. She had worked hard to earn her place, and she wasn't about to let Victoria's jealousy ruin that. For Lily, this wasn't just a battle for a job, it was a matter of pride. She had built a life for herself outside of Billy and his drama, and she wasn't going to let Victoria drag her back into that toxic world. Lily was also acutely aware of Victor's trust in her. He had given her responsibilities that no one else in the family could handle, and she wasn't going to let Victoria's emotional manipulation interfere with that. In her eyes, Victoria was acting out of insecurity and fear, fear that she couldn't control Billy anymore, and fear that her influence at Newman Enterprises was waning. The growing tension The tension between Victoria and Lily only escalated with each passing day. Their verbal spats in the office were becoming more frequent, and even those around them could feel the hostility in the air. But while their feud boiled over in public, another conflict was brewing behind the scenes, one involving Lucy and Faith, two young women caught in their own emotional turmoil. Lucy's Rebellion Lucy Romilotti was livid. Her parents, Daniel and Heather, had made it clear that they didn't want her spending time with Faith Newman, and it felt like her world was closing in around her. The more her parents tried to restrict her from seeing Faith, the more determined Lucy became to break free. After all, there was a simple truth that everyone seemed to forget, the more you forbid something, the more enticing it becomes. Lucy's anger had been building for weeks, ever since Daniel and Heather had confronted her about her growing obsession with Faith. They had tried to frame their concerns as protective, but to Lucy, it felt like they were suffocating her. Faith was her friend, perhaps even more than that, and no one, not even her parents, could tell her who she could and couldn't be with. Faith's Isolation Faith Newman, meanwhile, was dealing with her own set of challenges. Her life had been a whirlwind of emotions, and she was reaching her breaking point. Sharon, her mother, had always been a source of strength for her, but recently, things had changed. Sharon had begun to act erratically, almost frighteningly so, and Faith found herself pulling away. Every time Sharon came near, Faith felt an overwhelming sense of dread. Her mother wasn't the same woman she used to be, perhaps the most fragile piece of this puzzle was Faith herself. With Sharon's erratic behavior spiraling out of control and Lucy's defiant rebellion pushing her closer to the edge, Faith was reaching her breaking point. The idea of running away wasn't just a fleeting thought anymore, it was becoming a real possibility. But where would she go? And would anyone notice before it was too late? 
Faith's inner turmoil mirrored the chaos surrounding her. She was caught between her fear of Sharon, her need for Lucy, and her own desire to escape. The young girl, who had already faced so much in her short life, was about to make a decision that could change everything. Conclusion, the battle lines are drawn. As Genoa City braces for the next round of battles, between Victoria and Lily, between Lucy and her parents, and within Faith's own heart, one thing is clear, nothing will ever be the same again. The alliances are shifting, the power dynamics are changing, and the emotional stakes have never been higher. For Victor, the patriarch of the Newman family, the constant infighting among his children was wearing him down. For too long, he had tried to control everything and everyone, but now, it seemed like the very people he had built his empire for were turning against each other. How long could he keep them all in line before everything fell apart? And for the younger generation, Lucy, Faith, and even Katie and Johnny, this was a time of rebellion, fear, and uncertainty. They were growing up in a world shaped by their parents' choices, but soon enough, they would be the ones making their own decisions, for better or worse. Victor had always believed that his past misdeeds were buried deep, hidden from the world. But now, the very people who had helped him bury those secrets were turning against him. Michael, with his legal expertise, and Nikki, with her intimate knowledge of Victor's personal life, had everything they needed to destroy him. Their plan was simple, Chancellor Abbott, with Billy at the helm, would lead a public corporate assault on Newman Enterprises. Meanwhile, Michael and Nikki would work behind the scenes, using their insider knowledge to undermine Victor's power. They would leak damaging information, expose hidden deals, and rally support from other business leaders who had grown tired of Victor's iron grip on Genoa City. Victor had always been feared, but now, for the first time, he would be vulnerable. The Alliance was confident that with their combined forces, they could make Victor feel the same fear he had instilled in others for so many years. Victor's Isolation and Response Victor had faced challenges before, but this was different. This time, the threat wasn't coming from outsiders or competitors, it was coming from within. The people he had trusted most were now united against him. And for the first time in his life, Victor found himself truly alone. His relationship with Nikki had deteriorated beyond repair. Their marriage, once a symbol of power and unity, had become a battlefield. Nikki's decision to join forces with Michael and Billy was a betrayal that cut deeper than any business deal. It was personal, and it signaled the likely end of their marriage. Victor knew that Nikki had always been the one person who could challenge him, but he had never imagined she would openly turn against him. But Victor was not a man to back down easily. Even in the face of overwhelming odds, he believed in his own strength. He had built Newman Enterprises through sheer willpower, and he was determined to protect it. Victor wasn't about to let an alliance of traitors take it all away. In the days to come, Victor would fight back. He would use every resource at his disposal to crush the alliance, starting with Billy. Chancellor Abbott would become his primary target, and Victor would pull no punches in his efforts to dismantle Billy's position. But as powerful as Victor was, he was no longer the invincible figure he once appeared to be. His enemies had grown stronger, and his own arrogance had left him vulnerable. The Inevitable Divorce As the battle between Newman Enterprises and Chancellor Abbott played out in the public eye, the cracks in Victor and Nikki's marriage would become impossible to ignore. The betrayal was too deep, the wounds too fresh. For Nikki, there was no going back. Her decision to side with Michael and Billy wasn't just about business, it was about reclaiming her independence, stepping out from Victor's shadow once and for all. The likelihood of divorce loomed large. Victor had always been a man who believed in control, but in this case, there was nothing he could do to stop it. Nikki was ready to leave him, and this time, it was final. 